Hey, so you want to get your heart checked out? I'm Dr. Ansem, I'm a family doctor, but I'm not a cardiologist. So if you want to see a specialist, go schedule with the cardiologist. But I'll just go through a few cardiac testing that I usually order and recommend for patients. Of course, a lot of this is based on the patient's age, their, their family history, their presenting symptoms, and also in conjunction with their lab work too. Also, some people get older too in their mid to upper 40s, 50s, 60s. I usually start maybe consider some uh, screening. Speaking of uh, getting to the 45s and 50s, sometimes I recommend the, the CT calcium score, which is gonna look at the calcified plaque. And that's usually 50 to $75 at a hospital near you. Other ones are the CT angiogram, which is a scan of your heart. It looks for soft plaque that may be uncalcified. That's another way to pick up uh, blockages. I am not a fan of doing any type of screening with cats because those could be dangerous, only needed in really specific uh, conditions. So talk to your cardiologist about a cardiac cath. So those are scannings for arterial diseases. Uh, other conditions, I would say even younger, say a patient in their 20s or 30s, it gets really bad palpitations, it comes on randomly. Sometimes I might order a Zio patch, Z-I-O patch, and that's a two-week heart monitor to pick up any type of arrhythmias. AFib, atrial fibrillation when the heart beats uh, irregularly. Um, other arrhythmias like SVT, supraventricular tachycardia. So that's kind of like a long EKG. EKG is a nice snapshot in time, but the Zyro patch is gonna get that two week rhythm. That rhythm strip is, uh, the recorder loop is sent back to the cardiologist to read typically. Now another great test for the heart that I order a lot is just a standard uh, trans echocardiogram, which is a ultrasound of the heart. It looks at the heart and sees how it's pumping and squeezing to see what the ejection fraction is, to see how the heart's relaxing. And it also picks up any type of um, uh, valvular issues. So any stenosis of the valve when it's narrowed, or if the, the valve is faulty, it has a regurgitation where the blood is not going the right direction in the heart um, valve system. And aside from the uh, ultrasound of the heart, that's gonna look at the, the function of the heart. You could also look at a stress test, which is, there's different ways you can stress the test. There's a chemical stress test, uh, like dobutamine, and then you can, or you can do a treadmill stress test. You can stress yourself out on a treadmill, and then look at an echo or an EKG and see if there's any cardiac changes after you stress the heart out, e either via chemical, like a nuclear stress test, or a treadmill stress test. So to be honest with you, that kind of covers a lot of the cardiac testing that you will encounter in your life. And let me know if you have any other questions or concerns and what kind of cardiac testing you've done. Have a great day.